In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a simple text marquee with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. The first thing we need to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Now we can give this page any any name. So I'm just going to call this tutorial and then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So for this tutorial, we're going to build everything on the front end. So let's go ahead now and build from scratch. And we're going to have a single column here. So before we can go in and start adding all our modules, let's start by making some changes to our rows. So I'm going to click here on uh, row settings, and then I'm going to come over here to design sizing, and we need to change this maximum width to 200 pixels. Okay, next, we need to add some padding both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and our padding here needs to be 10 pixels. Now, no Notice that I'm using this chain to add the padding both to the top and the bottom. Right, so we also need to add some rounded corners for this. So let's head over here to border and our rounded corners here are gonna be 10 pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it over here. Now for this, make sure that your chain is activated because if it's not, then you only apply the rounded corner to just one of the sides. Next, we need to add a drop shadow. So I'm gonna come over here and the one we're gonna go with is this one right here. So I'm gonna select it. And then we also need to add the overflow. So so I need to come over here to advance, click on visibility. And here we need to change or just make sure that the overflow here is set to visible. I mean, in fact, it needs to be set to hidden and we need to do the same here on the vertical as well. So this is all we need to do here. I'm going to save. And then now it's time to add our text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Now notice that if you can't access the uh, button to add your module, you need to come all the way down here to the bottom, click on expand settings, and then you want to come over here to the wireframe view and you can add it easier this way. So now I'm just going to search for my text module, select it, and then you can just switch over here to the front end. So now I can add my text in here. So I'm just going to say this is a sentence. And the next thing now is to add our margins. So design, spacing, and I'm going to start here with my margin left. And this needs to be set to minus 100% and 100% right. Now by default, you'll notice that this will go in as, a, as, a, as pixels. You just need to make sure it's percentage. Now let's head over here to the animation style. So we are going to use the slide animation style. Next, let's add our direction. And we are going to add our direction here from the right. The animation duration needs to to be 5,000 animation intensity. Let's bump it all up all the way up to 100% starting opacity 100% as well. And then over here on the animation speed curve, we need to set this to linear. So I'm going to come all the way down here, choose linear. And then the animation repeats. Now by default, it's set to once. Let's set this to loop. So I'm going to save this. So to see the animation, you need to exit the visual builder. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on exit visual builder. And now we can see our text scrolling. So as you can see here, this is just looping. And ideally, we would need a situation where we are able to just hover over here and then it stops. So let me show you how you do that. So I'm going to click here on enable visual builder so that we go back into the builder. So here we need to go into the text module. So I'm going to come over here to expand settings. And then I'm going to go into my text settings here. So what we need to do here is to add some a CSS code. So I'm going to come over here to advanced custom CSS, and this needs to be the main element. Now, remember, I mentioned that this needs to be on hover. So I'm going to click on this little icon, click on the hover tab, and this is the CSS code we need to add. So now if we save this, save the page and exit the visual builder. So now when I mouse over this, you can see it stops right away. So for the next example, I'm going to use a, a design from a layout pack. So I'm going to click here on these three little dots, and then I'm going to click on this plus button. So this allows me now to search for my pre-made layout. And the one we're going to go with is the job recruiter homepage. So I'm just going to search here for job recruiter. And here we go. So the one I'm looking for is this one right here. So this, yes, this is the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now I don't want to uh, replace the existing content. So I'm going to click here on use this layout. So as you can see, we are going to have quite a lot of um, information that we don't need here. So just go ahead and uh, delete it. So now I'm just going to delete all these sections so that I'm just left with this main one, because this is where we're going to do most of our work. So the first thing we need to do is to come over here and update our row settings. Come over here, 
and then I'm just going to click here on my row settings, switch over here to the front. So here in the row settings, the two things that we need to do is to adjust the width. So I'm going to click here on design sizing, and then we're going to drag this all the way to hundred percent. And also the max width needs to be hundred percent. Now here on the margin, we're going to set this to minus 24 VW. And then we're also going to come over here to transform translate. And we are going to set the Y axis to minus 24. So the thing we need to do here is to just disable this chain because if we add all values, they'll be applied to both sides. So I'm going to come over here and add my add minus 24 VW. And then over here on the advanced, we're going to come to visibility. And on the horizontal overflow, we're going to set both of these to hidden. Now we need to update the text module. So I'm going to save this. Again, I'm going to come back to my text module through my wireframe mode. So I'm going to click here to access my module settings, switch back to the front end. So this is where now I can add my text color. Now the color I'm going to use is, is from the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on design text, and we're going to come over here to our text color. So the color here is going to have a bit of transparency. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit and then paste my values between the brackets. Now make sure they're in the brackets because Otherwise, it won't work. Now for the text size, we're going to set this to 36 VW. Now we're going to head over here to the margins. So click on spacing. And we are going to start with our margin left. And we're going to set this to minus 100%. And then for the right, it's going to be 100%. Make sure you remove the uh, minus. Now it's time to add the animation. So I'm going to come over here to animation. And the style we're going to go with is slide. And for the animation direction, this is going to be set to left. So over here for the duration, we're going to set this to 10,000. The intensity is going to be 100%. And the curve here is going to be linear. And for the animation repeat, let's set this to loop. Now we're going to save and take a little at this design. All right, so this is our final design. So here you can see if we mouse over this area, it pauses like that. And then on the bottom here, our text is going to be sliding across the screen. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.